time for Assen. Marquez on pole, and the lights go out. A good start from Cal Crutchlow. I'm not sure Marquez got away so well in the initial stages. Here comes Mark Marquez. This has been his territory. Oh, what a move! The pace actually isn't very... Oh! oh a massive moment there! Yeah, Rossi's oh, closing up front. on it. He lost the front. Yes, and the Suzuki rider yeah, coming through. Oh, oh, Marquez! Marquez. How has he not gone down? He does it time and time again. He was off the bike, and what? he stays on, and he keeps the throttle pinned. Oh, there you go. Take it back. Oh, have it back, that says. Merits to do that. Lorenzo then gets up the inside of his teammate. Oh! They, they, oh, they just didn't want to give each other any room. Look at that, their knees rubbed against each other. Incredible scenes here in Assen. Six different riders have led this race. Mark Marquez makes two moves in one. Mark Marquez wins an absolute stunner here in Assen. And it's so close for third. Rossi's messed it up. It's Rins who gets second place. Vinales third. Davizioso fourth. What a last three laps from the world champion. Incredible. Look at his celebration. He knows that was a real tough, tough battle. What a race. Right from the get-go, Jorge Lorenzo coming from 10th to lead, but Mark Marquez has done him in brilliant fashion. CC race, 17 laps, under starter's orders. Tomomi Manico in third position, makes an appalling start. Sakata, previous 125cc world champion, leading with Marco Melandri right up behind him in second position into the last few miles. Marco Melandri takes the lead with half a lap to go. Sakata is in second position and he looks as if he's going to take the lead back as they do start the charge back towards the bits. Look at the crowd, they're on their feet waving Melandri on. He's 15 years old, he's never won a Grand Prix before. If he wins this one, history will be made here in Holland. He gives it a massive handful. He comes up into the final chicane, he's on the inside. The crowd are on their feet. Melandri takes the lead. And does Sakata have a chance to fight back? I don't think he will. Melandri's gonna make history, the youngest ever winner of a Grand Prix. The mechanics are over the moon. leads the way, no, it's John Hawkins that leads the way, it's a great start by Colin Edwards, Colin Edwards on the MR, closing up on Nicky Hayes, they're coming up towards the left hand, and now they're into the right, Edwards side by side, and Colin Edwards has retaken the lead, Edwards has retaken the lead from Nicky Hayden, Colin Edwards chasing his first ever Grand Prix victory, they're into the chicane, oh, Hayden and Edwards side by side, Edwards holds the advantage, Hayden's oh, got into the dirt, and Colin Edwards is going to win his first Grand Prix. Unbelievable. Nicky Hayden crosses the line. Colin Edwards has gone down in the dirt, would you believe it? Colin Edwards has the checkered flag in sight. Colin Edwards has crashed out of the Dutch DT here at Hazard. And Nicky Hayden has won the race. Shinya Nakano in second place and Danny Pedrosa third. And he and runs, and he runs across the chicane, yeah. and Edwards runs across the outside of the chicane and runs across the chicane. not only victory, but an even bigger lead in the World Championship battle. What a race here at Assen. Congratulations to Nicky Hayden. Tremendous bit of dirt traffic by Nicky Hayden. He hangs on there. And Colin Edwards with all sorts of problems. Cannot believe it. Edwards has gone down. I think he's going to win the race when they see Nicky Hay uh, run onto the gravel. But I'm afraid not. Edwards has crashed down. Poor old Colin Edwards. He's finished 13th in the race. He rides back towards the start. 
He knows, we know, the whole of America know, Conor Nevis will never have a better chance of winning a motor GP race. And I think everybody's sympathies goes out to Colin Edwards, because he still manages a way to try. Is a happy chappy coming back towards Park Ferme. It's Nicky Hayden. He's won his second Grand Prix. He's won a Grand Prix in Europe. And he's really increased his lead in the World Championship. He just cannot believe it. What a ride by Valentino Rossi. Rossi finishes in eighth place with that injured right hand. The whole of the garage has found up the floor of Valentino Rossi. That is an incredible performance by the world champion. But at the front, Nicky Hayden is getting away. The market and the Landry absolutely drained. He's just slumped into his chair. He just can hardly move or hardly talk. What a day for America. What a day for Nicky Hayden. Colin Edwards makes his way back to his pool. A desperate afternoon for the American, who rode quite brilliantly in all the donkey work at the front, and then crashed out. Again, gets the applause from the crew. Poor old Colin Edwards. So, so close. The chequered flag was there. Nicky Hayden had gone into the gravel. The race was there to be won.